So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab so simply click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now many of you are asking how to enable the HCLO check my progress bar so for that you have to just check the video description okay in the same video where you are completing a lab you have to check the video description how to enable the check my progress bar now come over here click on I understand Now here you'll get another pop-up. You have to simply click on I agree, agree and continue. Now come to the task number one and here you can see we have to just initiate a RDP session over here. Okay, so for that we have to just go to the VM instance over here and you can clearly see these are the steps we have to perform. So how will perform all these steps? First thing you need to just come over here so just navigate over here and from here you can see this compute engine click on it go to the VM instance just come to the VM instance over here it's taking some time so wait for it let me refresh over here so finally it's in VM instance now here we have to initiate the RDP session so if you are using the MacBook etc okay then you need to download any third-party tool okay even for Chromebook but if you are from Windows user you can just do it directly over here so you have to just click on this and just click on this download button and here you have to just download it to your local system now just open it over here and if you get this kind of thing you have to just turn off your firewall okay so let me first of all turn off my firewall now once you have turned off it then just download it what we have turned off the smart app control in windows defender you have to disable the antivirus in simple words so just open it like this click on connect it's connecting again now here for the password you have to just paste this password over here like this and just click on ok now it's establishing a connection ok so first I think we have to just set up the ok 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 I got it we need to set up a new user the username is this and the pass is this if you are having issues you can wait and try again now here it's initiating the connection so what you can do you can minimize it like this so that you are able to complete it easily okay so let me first of all do one thing let's do one thing no and from here just copy this I mean open the Chrome browser And here just paste it over here. Paste on the Chrome browser. Hit enter. And now we have to go to the workload manager. So it's asking for username and password. So for that, what you need to do, you have to use from the lab instructions. So just paste over here like this. Hit enter. Again, copy from here. Wait a second, paste it like this. Next, just click on continue and just click on continue. Now, here it's taking some time. Wait a second, let me first of all skip all these things. Now, just close it like this, and we are successfully set. Now from here we have to just check for the workload manager so just open it like this and from here we have to just search for the workload manager workload manager so if I have to check again let me just check it out so here in the pinned product okay
ओके लेट टू इट दिस वन ओके जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस पिन आइकन एंड जस्ट सेलेक्ट इट Now just click on new evaluation. Okay, new evaluation we are clicking. So for the name, okay, just copy the name from here, paste over here. Let me do one thing. Okay, once you have pasted, now the description we have to add. Make sure there is no extra space or dot over here. Carefully paste all the things. Now here we have to update it to SQL. Let me see SQL Server. Yes, we have done the correct thing. Now select all the evaluation rules. So just click over here. All the evaluation rules are selected like this. Okay. Once all these things are selected, we have to click on Continue, and then just select the region over here. So let me do it again. continue select the project just click on browse project from here just select your project id select wait a second check box select resource location same as per the lab instruction all the things are done let me just cross check again and here use do not repeat option for scheduling continue continue create okay so here continue does not repeat only does not repeat we have to select right and then just continue and create it okay continue and just create it click on grant permission and create now here they have mentioned that this step can take up to 10 uh, sorry 15 to 20 minutes and we can just move to the next step if we try to check the score we won't get the score because it will take some time so just try to create again in case it's not created just click on grant and create again now it's creating okay if you see the notification it can see that it's being created over here so now we have to go to the secret manager and create a secret over there so here we got the score for first task now just come over here and just search for the secret manager you can see this is the secret manager click on it from here we have to click on create secret and for the secret we have to paste this name is correct okay name is correct all the things are correct and secret value here is the secret value so just copy it carefully i am doing it slowly so that you are able to understand now at last we have to just click on create for that scroll down it's being created and now let's check the score it's taking some time wait for it so we got the score now we have to run then the powershell command so for that let's copy it come over here right click windows powershell admin run it like this paste over here hit enter why hit enter it's taking some more time so wait for it
meanwhile let's check the next step that we have to open the notepad plus plus okay so let me just check it out this is done okay notepad plus plus you can see over here just right click run as the administrator yes now from here we have to just open configuration.json let me just check it out first of all we have to just run it and open file open folder c So there is no configuration.json file. So what we need to do, we can just create one and just add the contents over there. So let me just create it. Wait a second, we have to create the file, not folder. So let me just create a new file. still not working so directly we'll just create a file new and we'll just rename it to the content sorry configuration.json so let me just paste it like this and just save it to again to the same directory okay so from here we have to just go to the program files google wait a second just copy the name, update it, and from here, if you are able to see the JSON, yes, like this, we have to select and just replace it. So, once we have done all these things, we have to just run in the PowerShell command over here. So, where is the PowerShell? If I have to come over here, mm. okay. So again, we have to come over here to the PowerShell, paste it, hit enter. So it is also done. Now let's come over here and just do one thing. let me check one thing first of all if i am able to get the score no it's not completed so we have to do all steps now you have to run the evaluation for that you have to go to the workload manager where is the workload manager it's present in the same thing okay we have to just open it workload manager just come over here okay just pinned we have already pinned just pin open it now here we have to just open it like this and here we'll see option to run it so just evaluate it over here it will just take time So you can see when we run it we have already got the score but chances are there you may not get the score also so in such cases okay you can just follow these steps over here so if you are unable to get the score then you can retry over here let me just do these steps also if I am not wrong, then just 
just come over here and just paste it like this let me open it So here just come over here for the server name just select localhost okay and the authentication is is user is this pass is this okay just click on connect now now here we have to open the query editor and wait a second what is happening query editor and just run the query so now it's still connecting so wait for it to get connected okay i got it there i made one mistake in the local host spelling so now it will work so as you can see it's connected it was due to the issue now click on new query and just copy it from here and just paste over here and run it click on this play button to execute the query you can see it's done now again we have to go to the powershell over here If you are not getting score then you have to repeat this step now once you have completed this step you have to just rerun the evaluation so let's come over here and just come to the evaluation page this page okay so just rerun it over here and evaluate then it will just show a green check if we have to just check it out and that's the way we have to complete the lab guys if you have any query, you can let me in the comments section. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.